better place to be in this heat than at the fire pit right now. But uh, <laughs> we are talking about something serious. Not on, thank goodness. You know, we know people want to have fun celebrating Independence Day holiday. We want you to have fun, but you got to be careful too. All right, from the Birmingham Police Department, Truman Fitzgerald is here. He's the PIO for Birmingham. Good morning. Happy Fourth of July, everyone. Good to see you. I know you guys are all hands on deck today, wanting everything to be okay. Yes, ma'am. We will have a strong police presence throughout the city just to ensure everyone has a great Fourth of July experience. Mm -hmm. uh, Mike and I have been talking this morning, and we did a couple of stories on what something that always surprises me is celebratory gunfire. And people may think that's harmless, but something always seems to happen. Something always happens. In fact, just this New Year's Eve, we had two people injured by gunfire in East Birmingham. Mm. They had to go to the hospital. Thankfully, it was non life threatening, but they were shot because of celebratory gunfire. So people just shooting up in the air, not meaning to. People just shooting in the air and it never fails. The next day for patrol officers is terrible mm -hmm. because there's so many reports of damaged property, houses that have been shot into, cars that have been shot into, and it, it just traumatizes our residents. And you think about the velocity of a bullet shot into the air, it's gravity eventually is gonna bring it down at a high rate of speed and that'll penetrate a home, a roof. Yes, sir. Penetrates homes, cars, and it just terrorizes our community members. Are you surprised, though, that it still occurs despite the fact that you now have the shot spotter technology and the real time crime center? Surprised because it's well known that we have so many technological resources at our disposal in Birmingham, and people still get out there and fire shots in the air. And y'all catch them now. now and we, yeah, how, does, how does that work? So tonight? Shot Spotter detects gunfire, and it's normally spot on. And also, we have cameras throughout the city that are linked through our real-time crime center. So we have a lot of technology at our disposal at BPD. So if you think you can get away with it, you cannot get away with it. We can't catch everyone, but we can catch a lot more than we used to in the past. Uh, when, it, when, it's, when you're talking about a holiday and, and mobilizing uh, more units, uh, is that a difficult process? You know, because obviously we want our law enforcement officers to be able to celebrate the holiday, but I imagine, you know, men and women are re ready to step up and help. Our officers make a ton of sacrifices. We have several officers that are going to come in on an off day and make sure that we have adequate officers on the streets. And our officers just do one heck of a job sacrificing for their city. You were telling me on the way up here to the rooftop that you're going to be on patrol today. Yes, ma'am. After this, I'm headed to home, East Birmingham, good old East Lake. So I'm excited. Well, All we right. want you to be safe. Yeah, and we, we also do. want people to be safe if they're shooting fireworks, though. So what should they know about that? Fireworks are legal in Birmingham and they are so dangerous. I remember recently the case in Atlanta where the couple was shooting fireworks on the rooftop in an entire apartment complex burned down. Oh my goodness. And they think that it was linked to fireworks. They are extremely dangerous. One time on patrol, I saw a person that lost their hand mm. because of fireworks. They had to go to UAB hospital and have their hand amputated. Before the fireworks start here, Thunder on the Mountain, we see a lot of fireworks going off in some of the neighborhoods here in Birmingham. Um, nothing that I know of has happened, but I didn't realize how many people would shoot off fireworks on their own. Yes, ma'am. And it, it is an innocent pastime. I mean, we much rather have people shooting fireworks than gunfire. I, I but we do that. have to remind the public that it is illegal in the city limits. So it is illegal in the Birmingham city limits. Yes, sir. Don't yes, ma'am. It. it is illegal. And I think the, the other concern, too, is that, you know, uh, who, who knows what type of fireworks people are buying off the, the, the market, you know, online. That's true. That aren't at the stores, uh, you know, around here. So uh, that, that can cause an issue, right? There's something that has a more of an explosion. Yes, sir. And with every house and businesses so close to one another, you can definitely see the concern and why fireworks are legal in Birmingham. Have you had some incidents that you get calls every year of something happening? Have you had several? We typically, we're gonna get fireworks call, we're gonna get the celebratory gunfire calls. And also we wanna remind people, we know there are gonna be gatherings, we know there are gonna be family gatherings. Please, if you see a conflict brewing, leave. We've had three homicides just this week, mm. and we just want our community members yeah. to be safe. And a lot of those stem from senseless arguments. And you, I know you encourage people to come forward if they do see something and have any concerns. Any concern, I guess, would be okay to report, right? If you see something, say something. We had a father and 12-year-old son who was shot on Mother's Day. Wow. The community stepped up, and we were able to take a suspect into custody because of the community. We need more of that. Absolutely. We need more of that. Yeah. The community's doing a heck of a job this year. 
Well, Truman Fitzgerald, we appreciate you and all the police departments all over in our viewing area uh, for what you do and sacrifice every day, especially on a holiday. Thank you all so much. We'll let you get back to your air-conditioned squad car. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Happy Fourth of July, everyone.